Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about from one hysteria to another. Yes, from the COVID hysteria to the climate hysteria. I found out an interesting fact, a uh, factoid, um, I think it was on Sky News, that China has 3,600 coal-fired power stations and Australia has six, and we're expected to get rid of our six, which is absolutely ridiculous. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Okay, we're going to talk about the COVID, uh, sorry, we're not going to talk about the COVID hysteria, so it's been a topic of conversation here at the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about the climate hysteria and actually how similar they are indeed. Indeed, they're beginning to talk about climate lockdowns, we might get onto that a bit later. But yes, I, I was watching the Sky News uh, the other night, which is a great thing to subscribe to through Foxtel. Um, you know, basically, uh, China has 3,600 coal-fired power stations and they're planning to get rid of any. They're, in fact, they're planning to build more. Yet R6 were expected to get rid of those and, you know, to become carbon neutral. And this exactly exposes what's going on with the whole um, climate, um, you know, change hysteria. It's, it's again, yet another... Um, hysteria it's yet another kind of mishandling of a situation again it's not like humanity is not um polluting the planet obviously it is particularly china and no one's going to do fuck all about that but everybody is all carrying on about oh the, the six we must change the six i mean you know as far as i'm concerned if we have six we could have 12 and it wouldn't make f all difference to um you know our carbon footprint globally you know i mean we make such a tiny imprint anyway compared to a country like china which is one of the major global polluters or india or um even like Europe, um, you know, or, or the United States. So the idea that Australia even needs to worry about the climate change problem outside of maybe one could issue, um, you know, concern on the issue or, you know, concern about the environment. But, you know, we don't really need to do anything. OK, let's face it. And this is why it always loses at the polls, you know, when Labor pushes this agenda. And this is why the Liberal Party, you know, if they're smart, should stick to their guns and basically just provide lip service because that's all we need to do is just talk about it and actually do fucking nothing. Because, it's, you know, basically Australia is very green as it is. If anything, we could actually double the amount of coal-fired power stations we have and actually begin to build a bit of industry and a bit more, um, you know, manufacturing here, particularly if things are going to, you know, go sour with uh, China apropos geopolitics. So I think, think it's all a load of rubbish, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't know how anybody can justify how, how China can have 3,600 and growing coal-fired power stations. Australia only has six and we're expected to get rid of these and maybe bring in a nuclear power station or endless wind farms that are a terrible ice or on the environment. This look terrible if you look anywhere. So I just think it's absolute rubbish and it goes to show this is how it's a classic globalist situation, very similar in a way to COVID because you have a situation that is real but is nowhere near as big a threat as um, what it appears to be. I'd say that's the same with COVID as it is with climate change. It's not as if, you know, we make no, um, um, globally all, you know, the world's polluters don't make any um, impact. But, you know, this is an agenda, this is something that could be handled sensibly. But they instantly create a mishandling of the situation that usually involves a transferring of um, a whole lot of money to the elites, which obviously is happening with the Paris Accord, uh, and also, uh, you know, giving a lot of power away to uh, global elites, which, you know, is like COVID and climate change. And, you know, that also brings the kind of interesting nexus of the two into kind of climate lockdowns, which um, Tucker Carlson did a really fantastic report on, which I recommend you look up uh, him talk about that. Um, you know, Biden has begun to sp speak about the idea of a climate lockdown. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it just goes to show that this is once again uh, a kind of global internationalist elite uh, once again trying to bring in this new world order kind of situation and using these two mishandling deliberately mishandling these kind of um agendas and we here at the report from tiger mountain we certainly reject it and i hope you do too and thank you for listening cheers